The following content has been provided by RWTH Aachen University. Um, so what is human uh, uh, computer interaction? And um, this is actually a um, graph that was published by the ACMZK community um, as a, a, a definition for, for this field. So human computer interaction is about humans and computers. Huge surprise there. Um, but what might not be um, immediately obvious is uh, also including the uh, development process. So if I have an idea, if I have this good idea about an application or something, um, and I have my empty sheet of paper, well, how do I start? How do I get from my idea to the actual project or actual uh, product in the end? And um, the second, or the fourth, how you, the way you count it, is um, uh, also, well, that the context is important and uh, how you use it. So the, the interaction with the system rarely just happens in a vacuum. Um, if I would have to code something right now and there are over 100 people watching me, well, I'm going to do that differently than when I'm in my office and just typing along. So this is also something to, to keep in mind. Um, the computer part, that will be covered by um, DIS2. And the use and context is um, covered by uh, CSCW, by um, the i5 um, chair. So these are not topics of, of this class. Um, what, what we're looking more around is uh, uh, these areas. So for one, how does a, a human um, process the information? So how fast can he do something? Um, what is easy uh, uh, to accomplish? What is easy to remember? Um, and when a user encounters a new um, uh, product, well, how does he build the model, how it should work or how uh, it will work. Um, then also, yeah, how does the, the interaction in general with the system occur? What uh, are the different steps there? And um, keep in mind that these, this part, this will stay the same because, well, the, the brain doesn't update um, uh, this fast or the brain doesn't evolve this fast. Um, Another thing we're looking at, at is um, example systems and case studies, so more the, the history of HCI. And if you would uh, study art, um, then this would be uh, very obvious to you that, that you would look at the paintings of, of the grand masters uh, to learn from them. And this is uh, something that also applies here, that you get an idea, well, what were the important steps um, in the past to get to where we are now? What were, were the, the, the lessons learned and how this, uh, did the um, UIs look um, previously? Um, and then, yeah, also uh, what I've already talked about, how do I design my app? How do I design my idea that I, that I have? Um, and how do I evaluate that? Is it just that I'm going somewhere and show this to you and say, well, is this good or is this bad? Or are there more uh, or better ways how to do this? And yeah, a lot of this will stay with you uh, uh, for the rest of your career that you can apply uh, again and again. Um, and also, if you don't have to design just something, but you're standing in front of a door and you push it instead of pulling, say, well, why do I do this? Um, and figure it out. The following content has been provided by RWTH Aachen University.